Oh, it's you. Good morning, little rockets. Good morning, young humans. And welcome back. Welcome back to the launch pad. Really good to be with you again. You know, <clears throat> people ask me all the time, Father Colin, why do we need a launch pad? And I try to explain to them. We need a launch pad because as high as the heavens are above the earth, so high are God's ways above our ways and God's thoughts above our thoughts. A little bit like mama. Mama. So what do we do? You know what we do. We make like a rocket. Up, 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 up. Our minds and hearts to God. Our fingers point the way. Down, 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 down. God comes to us in his word, the Bible in the sacraments, most especially the Eucharist, and not least of all, in God's gift to us of each other, God's gift to us of the church. Now I'm not sure, <clears throat> but I'm willing to bet that a lot of you people are an awful lot like me. I'll bet you love rides too, all kinds of rides. Merry-go-rounds are like totally, totally awesome. I love itty-bitty little rides. And I love great big high rides. I love not-so-scary rides. And I love the scariest rides of all. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. I don't think I am. Rides are always more fun with someone. Am I right? More fun with Mr. Quinn. Way more fun. You know, to go on a ride with Mama, Mama. To go on a ride with Dada. To go on a ride with your brother or your sister, maybe to go on a ride with, uh, with your best friend. It's always more fun with somebody. It's always more fun when we are together. Absolutely, positively, always more fun. Together, together with a best friend, best friend. Things are way more fun when we're not just one. It's always better together. Which brings us to Jesus' point. Do you remember? He's told us. Somebody asked him, How often should I forgive? And the guy says to Jesus, Seven times? And Jesus says, No way. Not seven times, but seventy-seven times. Over and over and over and over again, Jesus asks us to forgive. Over and over and over again. So, why do you think Jesus asks us to forgive? I think I know why. I do. It's not so much, I think, because forgiving is good for the other person, and it is, by the way, but forgiving is just plain good for you and me. I mean, think about it. Think about the people who are closest to you. Think about all the times mama, mama. Think about all the times mama has to forgive you. You do the same stuff over and over and over again and over and over and over again. What does she do? She forgives you. And you know, be around people long enough and everybody, everybody in this world is going to get around to hurting you one of these days. That's just the way life is. So what are you going to do? I think we should forgive. Because, you know, it just isn't any fun. 
it's no fun at all to ride alone. We want somebody with us on those rides. Carnivals, they're no fun when you're all by yourself. And pretty soon, if we don't forgive the imperfect people around us, we'll run out of people. We'll run out of people to ride the rides with. And we'll be riding all alone. So come on, young humans. Come on, little rockets. I don't want to ride alone. I don't. And I'll bet you don't want to either. Let's forgive. Let's have fun. And let's ride together.